about a tough boo-boo that the family that lived here had. The family that lived in this house, the Hartwells, they had 14 kids. Wow. But there's a sad part to this story. The first five of those kids all died within three weeks of each other, ages six on down to zero, when a disease went through here. But Mr. and Mrs. Hartwell, they didn't get discouraged. They went and had nine more kids and they reused the first five names, which was done in those days as wow. a sign of respect. Hmm. So if you can imagine being named after an older brother or sister that had died, it's the way things were done back then. That's interesting. And three of the sons that were in that second batch of nine kids were old enough to serve in the militia, so that means as the battle moved out front here, those three sons were literally fighting in their own front yard, if you can imagine wow. fighting a battle. If uh, you were an able-bodied male between 16 and 60, you were required by colonial law to be in your town militia. Now, uh, right the way now. the system would work is, let's say you're off uh, plowing in the field, off in the distance, you hear that church bell alarm go off, you leave your plow in the field, you run back home, you get your musket and your ammunition, and then you uh, head into the center of town or wherever the rendezvous point was for your town militia, and you responded to whatever the emergency was. Maybe the next town over was being attacked or what have you. And, uh, oh, one other thing about this system, guys. Under colonial law, you don't get paid for this. Uh, this was just part of your civic duty and responsibility as a colonial citizen. Prepare to front and load. Handle Parker. 